Okay, let's get straight to the point. ChatGPT is an amazing tool. You ask it a question, it gives you answers. You request it to do a task, it performs it for you. But like everything else, there are guidelines and there are certainly things that you should never, ever tell ChatGPT. Today, I'm going to walk you through five things in plain English so you can use this tool safely and confidently. If you ever ask yourself, is this safe to type? This video is for you. Let's go. Hi, and welcome to Smart Tech for Any Age. You know, for many people, myself included, ChatGPT and the other AI tools has been life changing. It has made my life so much easier, better, faster. I'm able to connect with people better, plan my travels more efficiently, and just have more fun. But like everything else, there should be guidelines that we should follow. And there are certain things that you should never tell ChatGPT. And today we're going to go through those. And to make things easier for you, I have summarized this entire video into a free downloadable PDF file that you can grab at the end. I'll tell you how to do that when we get there. So kick back, relax, and learn what you never, ever should tell ChatGPT. Let's start with the most important one, your personal identity and information. Don't put anything that personally identifies you in the ChatGPT. That includes your full name, birth date, address, social security number, or anything related to that. None of it. So if you're thinking of putting something like this into ChatGPT, Hi, my name is Tim Smith, and I live at 834 Maple Street, and my phone number is stop right there. This is exactly the things you want to avoid. ChatGPT is designed to forget what you talk about after a little while. But it is still a cloud-based system, which means your information, anything you talk in and out of ChatGPT, is stored somewhere out there in the ethers. So just to be safe, treat everything you talk about with ChatGPT like a conversation in a public place. Here are a couple of prompts that would be perfectly fine. Help me write a birthday message to my niece. No problems there. Or how about like this one? Suggest some easy meals for one person. You see, no names, no addresses, and it still helps you just fine. Think of it this way. If you wouldn't post it in a public bulletin board, don't type it in a chat GPT. Hello, pardon the interruption. If you're enjoying what you're seeing and hearing, can you please just take a tiny moment and tap on the like button, the subscribe button. If you know someone that can make use of this video, the share button. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Now let's get back to it. Mistake number two. Never type your passwords, your PIN number, or any kind of login credentials into ChatGPT. You'd be very surprised at what I hear other people do. They do something like this. I forgot my Facebook password. It's my dog's name plus my birth year. Can you help me remember that? No, don't do that. ChatGPT is not a password manager. It cannot recover your password, reset your bank info, or help you sign into anything at all. What it can do is helpful password tips like this. How can I create a strong but easy to remember password? Let's take a look at this one. Here's a great tip. Look at this one. It's a dead simple way to create strong, easy to remember passwords that won't drive you nuts. So you pick four random words you can visualize, and it gives you examples of coffee, pirate, sunset of island. Easy picture in your head, and then you just add some symbols in between, or right afterwards. Easy to remember, very tough to crack. 
and it gives you some bonus tips where you can capitalize some letters because some passwords require some caps and small letters as well as numbers. And it even suggests a prompt at the end. Give me a password made of four unrelated but memorable words plus number and a simple. So it helps you generate a password that you can remember. Another safe thing that you can put in the ChatGPT in regards to your password is something like this. What's a safe way to store my passwords? In no time flat, we get a list of safe, no BS ways to store. It suggests a password manager. Seriously, which is what I personally use. And it gives you a number of them that you can go try. It gives you the platform in which they operate under. They usually work under your browser on your desktop, as well as your phones. And there are a few more tips of what to do, and more importantly, what not to do. Never stick them in a Word doc or any kind of sticky note next to your computer, anything like that. Okay, next step, number three, and this is a big one. Never ever type your credit card information into ChatGPT ever. And this includes your bank name, account numbers, routing numbers, tax IDs, even PayPal or Venmo logins, anything financial related. Yes, ChatGPT can help you create a budget and think of creative ways to save money, but it does not need access to your wallet, okay? You can try this instead. Help me build a monthly budget based on this much in retirement income. And look, in no time at all, it completely gave you a practical no fluff monthly budget. That's easy to use, flexible and realistic based on everyday's life needs. So it created a big picture with essentials, wants and savings and divvy up the percentage out of our 2,500. And this gave us a very nice breakdown of something that we can stick to. Now, if you need to adjust this, you can just tell it to how you want to do that and it will fine tune this budget for you. Now, here's another safe one that you can put into ChatGPT. Affordable travel option for two people over 60. Okay, it already knows that if you're over 60 and traveling on a budget, we don't need anything crazy or overpriced. We want authentic experiences, comfort, and value. So it tells us to go off peak, slow travel is nice, train travel, house sitting. Plenty of great tips. Now you see, you can get all the financial help you need without risking your sensitive information. It's a win win. Okay, we're on to number four of the things you never want to put in ChatGPT. This one your personal health information. Okay, let's talk about health for a little bit, because this is where a lot of people actually make mistakes about using ChatGPT. Remember, ChatGPT is not a doctor, nurse, pharmacist, or anyone licensed to do any medical resource. So don't rely on it for any medical advice, diagnosis, or any kind of drug interaction. It is not meant for that. Avoid questions like these. Can I stop taking my cholesterol meds? ChatGPT is not made for this. Or another one like, is it safe to mix ibuprofen with my blood pressure medication? ChatGPT is not made to give out this kind of medical advice. Please seek out help with a medical professional. But regarding your health, ChatGPT can be very, very helpful. It is great with prompts like this. Give me low impact exercises for someone with arthritis. And here's a really solid list of things that you can get started if arthritis is something that's bothering you. Another wonderful prompt that's health related we can all use, like this one. What are healthy snacks for someone trying to lower their blood sugar? And quickly, we get a very great list of some smart snack choices and other lifestyle changes that we can try to apply to lower the blood sugar. Remember, ChatGPT is amazing 
for general wellness information, but not for diagnosis, prescriptions, or any kind of treatment decisions. When it comes to health, real doctors always come first. Okay, we're on to number five. And this is kind of a biggie too, but in just a different way than the others. Avoid putting emotionally charged or regretful messages into chat PT. Do you ever feel tempted to vent after a tough day? Maybe one of your coworkers says something rude, or you got cut off by traffic, or your cousin posts something embarrassing about you on Facebook. Hey, we've been there. I know how it feels. So you go on the ChatGPT and you start typing something like this. Write a text telling my sister that I'm done with her and don't want her for Thanksgiving. Whoa, stop right there. Step away from that keyboard. Even though ChatGPT is just a machine, it is not a great idea to ask it to help you write messages when your emotions are running high. These are a couple of prompts that might, you, you might find helpful in these situations. Help me write a calm message, setting a boundary with my sister. Or something like this. How can I express frustration without sounding angry? Let's see what this one tells us. Okay, here's just a handful of tips on how to express frustration without sounding angry. Use I statements instead of you. Name and vocalize the frustration calmly and specifically. Use a measured tone and spacing. Use different words like frustrated, disappointed, or concerned instead of the word angry. Now you see how much better these tips are. Step away from the keyboard for a moment, take some deep breaths, and get some help. You can still express yourself. Now just do it with kindness and care. And ChatGPT can help you get there. I know I said five, but here's a bonus mistake number six for you. I really want to drive this point home. That is assuming ChatGPT is always right. It's very smart, but it's not perfect. Let me show you a couple of problems you might not want to be using. Like this one. Tell me when Medicare enrollment starts. Or this one. What are the new tax brackets for 2025? Even though ChatGPT is highly knowledgeable in a lot of things, it might give outdated or incomplete information with things as important as this. So you always, always want to double check vital information while using ChatGPT. Some places where you can check out this information could be government websites, reliable news sources, your doctor's office, or other trusted financial sites. ChatGPT is a super helpful assistant, but you're still the boss. Okay, now let's go over those five things you should never put in ChatGPT. Plus that bonus sixth one that I gave you. First, any personally identified information, like your name, address, or contact info. Second, any passwords, pins, or login credentials is right out. Do not do that. Third, any credit card, banking, or tax information. Number four, any medical or prescription questions. Please seek professional advice on this one. Fifth, any angry, emotional, or any regretful messages. Anything you don't want it to be seen or heard in a public place, don't put it in there. And a bonus, don't believe everything you read on ChatGPT. Always double check important information. And to make it easier for you to remember and also take notes and practices, I made you a free downloadable PDF file you can grab at the link below. Put it right on top of the description so you can find it easily. It's called ChatGPT Safety Guide for Older Adults. I hope this video helped you use ChatGPT more confidently and more smartly. And understand, even though it's an amazing tool, there are things we should never, ever tell it. If you enjoyed this type of content, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. That will really help small 
growing channels like this one. Until next time, this is Smart Tech for Any Age. Bye.